Hello from Pastor Ken Harley in Hong Kong. How are you doing? Healing me is your heart. Healing me is the way you show me. Healing me is your will, Father. Through your Son, Jesus, by your Holy Spirit. Healing me is the way you show me how you love me. Okay, uh, this Sunday I'm going to be talking on healing and we're going to do a lot of practice with healing, the healing prayer model, five-step approach that I uh, experienced when I was at John Wimber's Church, the Vineyard in America, many years ago. And Bill Johnson's doing a lot of that. So at the Eternal Covenant Cafe, Cy Young Choi Guy, Argyle, in Mongkok this Sunday, 11 a.m., please come call me at 972-653-80 if you want directions. And we're going to be going through this idea that the Lord just put on my heart. That's why I'm doing a little video and sending out the information by email and Facebook. The Lord put on my heart that He wants to have relationship with us. And when relationship comes and we spend some time with Him, we begin to shine in His glory. We begin to shine in what we haven't yet fully experienced, but sometime in the future, we as glorified people, glorified bodies, resurrected bodies, we will have healing flowing from us because we, we are the lights. You see lights behind me, maybe. We are the lights of God. We are the mirrored reflections of God, Holy Spirit's within us, giving glory and shining throughout our neighborhoods, and throughout changing the environments of our world. Okay, right now I'll do a quick little sermon based on what I'll be talking about on, on Sunday. John chapter 5, 19 through 20. So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, that the Son does likewise. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And greater works than these will he show him so that you may marvel. See, even Jesus, when he was on the earth, had a relationship with the Father and introduced the Father to us. And as we are close to the Father, as we are close to the Father, as we are close to the Son, as we are fellowshipping with Holy Spirit, taking time, soaking in prayer, soaking in worship, soaking in the quietness of being with our Father at all times wherever we are. As we are soaking, the environment will change. Even as you saw the little student walk by saying, is it okay? Is it okay? Me being around changed the environment for him just for a second. There's more of that to come. Matthew 4, 23 to 25, Jesus, as he was soaking in the presence with the Father, sometimes praying all night, sometimes not even eating for a few days, Jesus went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout Syria and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, epileptics, and paralytics. And he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis and from Jerusalem and Judea and from beyond the Jordan. When I've heard this scripture read, especially as a young man in my early 20s and I, as I was learning of God's healing power through us all, Every disease, every affliction was healed. There was nobody who wasn't healed. And that's the mindset we need to have. Jesus says, the Father says, Holy Spirit says, yes, yes, yes. When we pray for people, yes, 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 yes. Healing will come through natural means, according to the work of the Spirit in our lives. Yes, healing will come through a miracle. Yes. Healing will come because it's a prime for a person to be resurrected, 
resurrected and into their glorified bodies in, to be with the Father in heaven and Jesus face to face, moving in the Spirit with all the elders and all the angels. And it's yes, yes, yes. Healing is yes, yes, yes. Today I found this scripture in Acts chapter 5, 12 through 16. And it's about the apostles, the people of God. They started taking the truth, taking the life, taking the light of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit working through them. And this is what happened. Now many signs and wonders were regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles. And they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared join them, but the people held them in high esteem. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, that as Peter came by, at least a shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. It's not just Jesus. It's not just Jesus who did all the healing when he was on earth. All of the people that came, all of the people that came, even when the apostles would walk by, their shadows, their shadows would cause healing power to come. Bill Johnson was talking about this the other day when they, he was in Hong Kong, that the shadow is just a part of who we are and that when the shadow would strike somebody and they'd be healed, it's because the environment of God was living through Peter and the apostles. The environment of God, you don't understand, is living through us. The Holy Spirit wants us to catch that light, wants us to catch that flame, wants us to catch that fire, wants us to be on fire, wants us to believe, wants us to live, wants us to overcome and receive our crowns in this life and the life to come. You have the Holy Spirit in a, you. You have a plan of the Father for great things. You have a plan for great authority in the kingdom of God so that you will see those around you in your neighborhood, in your apartment, in your environment, in your hotel, in your airplane, wherever you are, the environment will change because you are the light of the world and your work is making a difference in the world. The kingdom of God is coming through you. Remember Mark. Mark says, go out into all the world, chapter 16, and preach the gospel. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Make disciples of all men and women. You have that power and healing will come. There will be less talk on Sunday and more practice, where we will practice teaching people how to hear in the Spirit and how to pray for the others. And there is nothing that separates us from the love of God, and there is nothing that will stop the healing of power of God moving in people. It's always yes, 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 and amen. God bless you. See you Sunday. And if not, this is your Sunday through the internet. <laughs> healing me is your heart. Healing me is the way you show me. Healing me is how you love me in this city. In this city, dun dun dun.